when I was going to high school, we had to use uh, a uniform that everybody had to use in the whole country. So in ways, we had no like possibilities to show our identity through style. So when I started living here, I, I was living in Chelsea and I would hang out like in, in the neighborhoods and there was there's a lot of high schools around here. I was just like stunned by how they were dressing, but I kind of wanted to know more about these kids. I started thinking like, who are they and how, how is their home? This girl here, perhaps she, she's, her parents are from Colombia and the house is very kitsch, but she is too in a very contemporary way, like, but they're super distant, but the same at the same time. It's like a, the old and the new contemporary. I actually have been working the last maybe 10, 15 years on sort of thematics about the maternal, kind of exploring the conflicts, uh, you know, of those kinds of intimacies, the, the kind of anxiety and the, you know, some of the joy, but maybe more of the anxiety. Actually, my father fled uh, from North Korea around 1960-something, and still my relatives lives there. Uh, recently, I heard a lot of uh, testimony from North Korean refugee since then, and then I conveyed uh, to my artwork. But the burning method, this show I especially um, try to um, express the blood, the red. It means the innocent death. So it's a name, the thousands of names I burned on that uh, the panel. So it's a memorable kind of drape. Mm -hmm. 